today we're going to discuss about cleft lip and palate in this session we'll discussing about the development of face in relation to cleft lip and cleft palate so the development about of face the face develops from five prominences of processes they are one unpaired frontonasal process a paired maxillary processes and the paired mandibular processes the so total of five processes otherwise known as prominences contribute to the development of face any change in the development or fusion of these processes leads to the formation of different types of cleft lip or cleft palate so this is the frontonasal prominence or process and this is the mandibular arch or the first pharyngeal arch now in this picture here you can see that the frontonasal prominence is still the same while the mandibular arch gives rise to the maxillary process and the mandibular process so the paired maxillary prominences develop from the cranial part of the first branchial arch the paired mandibular prominences develop from the caudal part of the first branchial arch which is otherwise known as the mandibular arch and this happens around the fourth in week of intrauterine life so during the fourth week of intrauterine life nasal placards appear on each side of the frontonasal process these placards invaginate to form nasal pits and as the nasal pits form it also leads to the formation of the medial and lateral nasal processes so here i can see the placard similarly the eye placard is also there however we will not be discussing about that aspect so here you can see that the na nasal placard has become a nasal pit and now you have two other new colors appearing the medial portion is known as the medial nasal process and the lateral one is known as the lateral nasal process then you can see the maxillary process and the mandibular process which have joined together the lateral nasal processes fuse with the maxillary process on either side the medial nasal processes fuse with each other and with the maxillary processes on either side to form the upper lip and the premaxilla so the fusion with each other forms the premaxilla and the central portion of the upper lip the mandibular process fuses with, with each other to form the lower lip now here you can see the blue color is the medial nasal process the yellow color is the lateral nasal process the green is the maxillary process and the pink is the mandibular process the black shade in between is respect is the oral cavity or the mouth space towards the side you can see the laterally placed the lens placard which is forming which is giving rise to the eye so we'll that part is not be discussed here and the central big huge pink portion is the fronto nasal process so here what happens is first the lateral nasal process fuses with the maxillary process similarly the medial nasal process the lower extension fuses with the maxillary process simultaneously this space becomes narrow and eventually the both medial nasal process fuse with each other as well so here you can see the final picture so in the blue portion the inferior portion you can see forms the filtrum of the lip so while this external surface of the face develops also the the palate also develops around in and around the time time so the primary palate secondary palate and definitive palate so the palate develops in three stages of which i would like to point out here that the primary palate develops at the same time 
that's around the six weeks uh, of the same time as the development of the external phase. So the primary pilot, otherwise known as the pre-maxilla, it develops some fusion of the median nasal process and the maxillary process. The secondary palate develops from fusion of the palatal processes or palatal shelves which arise from the maxillary process on either side and they fuse in the midline. Now while this happens, there is also a simultaneous fusion with the primary palate as well and this line of fusion of the primary palate and the two palatal shelves together is in the shape of a Y and this leads to the formation of the final palate or the definitive palate. So we have the primary palate, secondary palate and then the final palate or the definitive palate. So this, the top three pictures show the external phase development and the top, lower three shows the palate development. So this is what we showed earlier. This is all the straightforward same thing. And here are the final faces formed. You can see the nasal uh, nostrils, the the alley of the nase, the nasal septum region, the upper lip, lower lip, the cheeks, they are all being formed. Now here the palate, you can see the green colored structures are the palatal shelves, which also arise from the maxillary process. The yellow color here is the premaxilla or the primary palate which is already formed at six weeks and the central green portion is re representing the nasal septum. Now here you can see that the, the uh, palatal shelves are fusing and this picture by almost eight weeks you can say even eight to ten weeks the entire uh, secondary palate and the definitive palate is formed. So the primary palate, it forms the anteriormost part of the hard palate where with it contains the portion of the alveolar ridge which has the four incisors that is the central and lateral incisors. The secondary palate, it represents the rest of the hard palate and all of the soft palate. So this simple diagram will represent the uh, entire uh, parts of the palette so you can see the primary palette and this is an easy diagram to draw to represent the topic in discussion that is cleft lip and cleft palette so this uh, line here represents the upper lip and this represents the alveolus and here is the hard palate and this is a soft palate and this is the uvula so this and this is the nasal cavity so these five structures have to be shown to, uh, in, uh, to in order to depict the various types of cleft lip and cleft palate so saying this thank you